Welcome back. So, we just did equations, graphed equations, when they were in slope-intercept form. But sometimes you are not going to be given an equation in slope-intercept form. You're going to be given in uh, an equation in what we call standard form. Okay? And it looks like this. 5x plus 2y equals 8. If that's the case where you're given something like this, Basically, all you want to do is you want to solve for y, in other words, get y alone to get this equation in slope-intercept form. So if I get y alone here, then I'll have it in slope-intercept form. So let's take a look at that. So if I'm going to do this, uh, just like we did when we were solving equations, we want to treat this like we've got two sides to an equation. So I put a line down here, right? That's where our equal sign goes. And then we just want to try and get y by itself. Well, to do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get rid of the x's, right? I want to get y by itself, so these x's, they can't be here. This is a positive 5x, so I will subtract 5x from both sides. Just like that. And then what are we going to be left with? Well, on the left-hand side, we're just left with 2y. And on the right-hand side, we have 8 minus 5x. Now, you could write it like that if you want, but because slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, right, we normally write it where the x is first, I'm going to write this as negative 5x plus 8. I prefer to just put it in that order right away. And so we have 2y equals negative 5x plus 8. All right, from there, we just have to get y alone. So we have 2 times y here. We need to divide both sides by 2. And then this is where the number one mistake occurs on these types of problems. When you divide by 2, you need to divide everything by 2. So a lot of times students will just divide the 5x or they'll just divide the 8. But you need to do both of them. So I'll take the 5x divided by 2 and I'll take the 8 divided by 2. Okay? So we do that and what will we be left with? Well, left-hand side, we'll have y, just like we wanted, right? We wanted to get y alone. And on the right-hand side, we just have to deal with each individual term. Negative 5x divided by 2, well, that can be re rewritten as negative 5 over 2x. And then 8 over 2, well, that will be plus 4. And so that's our equation, y equals negative 5 halves x plus 4. From there, you'd want to graph this. Um, I'm not going to go through it too much, but y-intercept is 4. We put that down. Slope is negative 5 halves, so I can go down 5 and right 2. Or I could go up 5 and left 2, and that'd be up here somewhere. But we go down 5, left, right 2, and we end up with something like that. And we can go ahead and graph them. All right, and that's the big idea. Now, I want to do one more here, because there is something with negatives we want to make sure that you guys remember. Um, but that's the basic idea. We just want to go ahead. We want to get y alone. So let's do that here. So this one, I've got 5x minus 10y equals 50. Again, we want to get it in slope-intercept form. So we just want to get y by itself. So our first step, we got to get these x's to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. All right, and what are we left with? Well, on the left-hand side, we'll be left with negative 10y. And a really common mistake is leaving that negative off. You gotta make sure you drop it down. That's not just 10y, it's negative 10y. Then on the right-hand side, again, you could write it as 50 minus 5x, but I prefer to write it as negative 5x plus 50. All right. Then to get y alone, uh, we'll divide both sides by negative 10. And remember, when you divide this, you got to divide everything. So I divide both the negative 5x and the 50. Right-hand right, right -hand side, well, we're just going to be left with y. Or left-hand side, sorry. We'll just be left with y. Right-hand side, here we've got negative 5x over negative 10. Well, a negative divided by a negative would be a positive. And so this term here is just going to be positive. 
and then I can just look at my fraction and reduce it. 5 over 10 is 1 half. And so this would be a positive 1 half x. All right, and that's what I meant when, like, making sure you're dealing with negatives. Remember, if you have a negative divided by a negative, you get a positive. However, over here, 50 divided by negative 10, uh, I have a positive divided by a negative. That's a negative. 50 divided by negative 10 would be minus 5. And so that's our equation in slope and intercept form. Y equals 1 half x minus 5. You'd want to take that, go ahead and graph it. The y intercept is negative 5. The slope is 1 half. So I'm going to have you try this out. Take an equation in slope intercept form or in standard form and put it into slope intercept form. Uh, when we come back, we're going to look at some specific cases and graphing inequalities, which is very, very similar to this.